Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Simple Story Saturday and Christmas in February. Um, both are hops that um, uh, a group of scrappers follow, and I will have links to everybody participating in each one of those hops. Um, I'm using Simple Stories primarily very the very merry collection um which is a 2017 collection and i really love it because it has both cream and white so that if you want to use um wood grain like i'm going to do here or uh craft it would be it would look really nice or you can go with you know, just on white. I love it, and I thank you very much for it, and you know who you are. I'm using with it this uh, one piece from this Color Vibe chipboard bits um, winter. I got this in a Mind the Scrap Kit, and it has all these shapes in chipboard in that color selection, which goes perfectly with this collection, even though it's much newer. And I have both the ephemera and the chipboard from Very Merry. I have a six by eight paper pad, which I don't think I use anything out of that. If I want to add some touches of gold, because I'm using some gold, um, uh, some twine that has gold in it, I'm going to keep this on my desk. That is a Simple Stories from Winter Cottage. And I think that came in a Mind the Scrap kit. And these are the rest of the papers. So I'm going to put all this down. I may, I'll keep the stickers handy because I may want to use some word strips. But what I'm going to do is a very, very simple design. I've, I've got my photo and I've covered up, I've clipped on something covering up the other people in the photo because I didn't get their permission to um, put them out on social media. I'm going to kind of place it right there, but I'm going to have these things and I, I pre-prepared these. I have um, some circles and this uh, stocking, another circle, and this uh, tag. I think I'll do it that way. And I have these twine, they're on twine, and I didn't, um, cut the top. I'm going to let them go ahead and cross over this uh, evergreen bow here. Um, I will glue these on where I want them. I've, I've put, just so you know, this twine, the gold strand easily comes un, un, it kind of unravels. So I've put some glue on the back here and kind of glued it down in between the two pieces of foam. So let me, I'm going to put this one about right here and let that twine go up there. This one, you can kind of see how the gold has separated from the white. I, I thought maybe it would, uh, and this is going to be my title, Eat, the Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. And then we've got Merry and Bright. I'm just going to have them kind of uh, cascading down. from there, and I may go back and add in some flare. I have a couple flare, Christmas flare, 
that I've pulled out that would kind of go, I think, but I don't, uh, I'm not sure where. The title is gonna go right here, but I think I'm gonna wait until I get my clusters built. Um, I know that I want a gathering of Christmas of trees and gifts, kind of at this corner. And then because we're sitting at a table playing games, this bingo card will be perfect to kind of form the basis for my upper cluster. And there, there are no people up in here, and so I can have the cluster kind of coming down. So let me, given that, I think I've got the placement for my photo as being kind of right there. <laughs> and of course now I've, I've uh, got it someplace else. We're just gonna go like that and we're gonna cross our fingers. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of foam behind this card so that it create to, to create some dimension from behind there. I need to get it down below the glue and kind of have it coming out along the side there. Um, so now let's start putting, I want this um, lantern to be something that um, kind of comes down below the, into the photo. So maybe right there. And I kind of like this floral bit. And then I'll have another one for the other side. Let's see. That will go that way because I want the pine cone pointing up. Now I've got this one. And I'll go on the other side and down, maybe even overlapping the lantern that way. And then I'm gonna Put this, let's see, if I scooch this down and put the, the word festive across there, I need to be sure I'm not um, actually touching the face because when I put it in my album, I want that face there and my journaling will identify who those people are. I just have not contacted them and asked permission. And I don't know how they would feel. Haven't seen them in, <laughs> in a while. Not sure how they'd feel about. Let's see. I'm going to run this there to there. And now I'm going to scooch that up. And that whole cluster shows. Okay, here... I thought about having a, let's see, is there a chipboard tree? There is. I like the idea of having one of the trees be chipboard while the other two are ephemera because this gives some, some nice dimension. And I'm going to kind of have to move that and see where the person begins there because I then want to overlap 
onto the photo with one of the trees, with an, another tree, one of the uh, ephemera trees. So I'm gonna put this right here and let that be the start of everything. I'm gonna put this one just on the paper and have it be taller. It, it's darker, so it makes sense for it to be kind of the background one. And then I'm gonna do this on here, and I'm gonna bring it up to there. And that overlaps. And I have a snowman who can go kind of to the foreground and then the gifts will be next to him. This is really easy peasy scrapbooking if you're using, uh, if you have a single collection that you're going to use. And I, I've, I've got a a couple different ones that I'm drawing from, but it's, um, primarily everything from the same collection. Everything's color matched. And for the most part, the proportions are, uh, are appropriate. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna lean that one like that that right there. And then I've got a plaid one that's going to go kind of under this, but allowing that tree trunk to show because I really don't want to hide all the tree trunks. And I've got this guy, which This one is chipboards, so it's gonna stand out. But this little bag of gifts kinda needs to be on some foam. And we'll put it up like that, and then I can probably slide that one underneath. That is going to work. And this was a Christmas party. The, um, the photos were developed in January of 83. So I'm thinking it was Christmas of 82, which was our first year in this this house, which was a fairly new house. We had moved in in September. Okay, now I'll put the, this is one of the little chipboard um, book plates that's that was part of that chipboard color vibe set. And I said that Eat, Drink, and Be Merry is gonna be the, the, the title, and that is what I want for the title. But this joy could just as easily have been. Now, uh, because the book plate has these little holes in it, I'm going to let that detail shine. So I'm gonna let them both show through. And I took the middle out. There was a middle piece in there. And I could have left it in, but then the letters wouldn't have shown up so much, and you wouldn't have noticed that the book plate was there. The, the, uh, it would have reduced the visibility of both elements, the title and the book plate. And, and I was much happier with it. Um, you can tell by what I'm saying that I tried it that way. 
I was much happier when I decided to go this way. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Just kind of tack that down. And then I have my overlapping hearts, and I'm going to do the green one first off to one angle. And that photo is from my 12 box project, the 12 boxes of um, really old photos, pre-digital, that I am determined to go through uh, this year. Okay, so I have this these gold elements and I'm kind of liking, because there's the gold in this twine, I kind of want to put uh, some of these in here. I like these little guys right here. They're kind of like little snowflakes or they're really little asterisks, but um, I can do that and maybe do a tiny little star on that frame and then another one of those asterisks where here's one and i can maybe put it how about right there and maybe i can do another one um here we go we have this which is um holly and berries. I can kind of put that on there. That's cute. And it, just little touches of gold like that. Um, I wonder if there's anything I could put in here in either of the clusters. Um, there is a snowflake here. How about up here where there's a floral? How about having this gold leaf sprig kind of there as part of that floral cluster? And then I've got another leaf sprig, or how about a little tree? A little gold tree kind of right here behind the snowman. Okay, so we've got some gold in each cluster. We've got gold in two of the hangings and two pieces of gold down here in the title. I'm very happy with this. Um, I don't think there's anything else on here that I need. I did like um, this Falala -la word strip. Um, Kind of, I I don't want anything that's that's too um, oh I don't know too traditionally because um, it it was after all just like an office uh, group Christmas party and I'm just gonna go fa la la right there. And then there's a good cheer. I, like, I have festive there. Let me put a good cheer. It's black and the title is black. So maybe the good cheer would work over here. I wish I could see that without the, the thing over the picture. You know, I kind of like to picture it, how it's going to look in the album. Um, let's see. The good cheer could go there. It could go, why don't we put it right here? 
underneath John's arm. Okay, it would help if I took the backing off of the adhesive. I'll put this kind of like so. And of course, his little smiling face is, is showing through. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't know that I have a spot for the flare particularly, but I'm still going to try to work at least one in. You know, this one, the color on this one actually works better. There's, it's a darker kind of green. And the way I put it in here, the ornament that's on the flare actually shows nicely. So is there any place I should put this one? Maybe tucked in under one of these? Nah, I don't think so. I think this will go on another page. So I'm just going to put it off to the side. And this is my finished page. I will take care of um, gluing these and cutting them up at the top. I don't, that may be an intricate thing as I try for the twine not to unravel. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna secure that. I might actually, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna change it so that it hangs a little like that. And then I could actually kind of maybe do something like that and something like that. But then the twine kind of takes away from this. If it's just a straight line, it doesn't take away so much. So that's what I'm going to do. Straight line. Straight line all the way. Thank you for watching and Happy Simple Stories Saturday, and I hope you'll join that hop through the links that are in my description box, and Happy Christmas in February, and I hope you'll join that hop on the 25th of every month. We crazy people will be doing Christmas layouts and, uh, and, and putting out a hop there just to kind of get you in a festive mood. So thank you for watching. Bye.